Hi, Nixon. This is a review of your lesson from March 19th, 2021. And we went over Castle Dangerous and all of your doublings. And the main thing to work on this week is the entire first part of Castle Dangerous. It's extremely important that you play the doublings inside the tune the way you play them when you do your scales. And one of the examples we went over in the lesson was how you play the double high G, specifically in the ending phrase of Castle Dangerous. And this is where you've just played the Lim Lua, you play an F doubling, and then you go to a double high G. And the way we want this to sound is like this. I'll start from the low A at the end of the Lim Lua. Let's start with the F doubling. <laughs> But what you were doing in the lesson at first was you were playing your double high G like this. Very slow and drawn out. And there's no need to do that anymore. You are very capable of playing it at the faster speed. So that is something we're going to work on this week with this recording. And what I would like to do is play the ending phrase of Castle Dangerous, which is the D doubling, Lim Lua, F doubling, double high G, thumb grace note to C, D throw, D strike. All right? So this is what we'll do. All right. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Again, one, two, one, two, one, two. If that's too fast, go ahead and play it again at a slower speed on the YouTube settings. Um, one of the other things that we talked about was just playing the entire tune through. But before that, I want to make sure that you're de-doubling, which is at the beginning of that phrase we just played, that your de-doubling is nice and clear and it's also quicker, yeah? You, um, when you do the scale, you play your de-doubling like this, which is good. But in the tune, you play it, and that's too slow. And it tells me that you're still thinking about it, which is understandable, but we need to get past that. So in the tune, right, before the D doubling is a B. And so we're going to play B to D doubling like this. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. If that's too fast, you can either pause the video, go back and, and slow the speed down, the playback speed, or you can just pause it and work on it on your own. It's important that you're able to transition from the B to the D doubling. Right? Let's do that same phrase, but we're going to add the Lim Lua after it. And your Lim Luas are sounding very good. Starting from the B, before the D doubling, then to the Lim Lua. Ready? One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, when you play along with this video this week, I want to, you to really listen to how you're matching me. And if you're not matching me, go back and figure out how to match what I'm playing. If that means slowing down the playback speed, that's fine. If it means pausing the video and working on it for a while, 
and then going back and trying again, that's fine too. The last thing we'll do here is I will have a link for you up here for playing the entire first part of Castle Dangerous at 35 beats per minute with, with eighth notes. So it's going to give you a nice rhythm to hear, and you'll be trying to play along with me on that. Have fun.